Ako. This is digital rules. Uh -huh. yeah, so we, digital rules for we have given a uh, uh, so people. I, a while back this year, in the month of May, a number of banks came together, five banks, to set up what I call as the first innovation platform for lending to small businesses and medium enterprises called Star Week, which we'll be launching today. And now we have more than a dozen banks which have shown interest to join. Our goal is to be able to deliver all the banks in the industry to deliver uh, the products to all our customers. But what really is Star Week? The question you can ask is, why do we think that there's a reason for us to deliver credits? Many questions have been asked across the industry, and many things have been written, especially in the media, that the banking sector is not really providing credits uh, to the SMEs and micro enterprises. So what I will say is that Starwood delivers credit which is affordable. We are pricing it at 9%. Uh, it is dignified. You will get the credits from our mobile applications, from wherever you are, and it's freely accessible for every single customer that is doing business. It is for business. It is driving the opportunities for enterprise. It's not really for personal lending or consumer lending. It's a business loan product, which is the most competitive. And with that, Your Excellency, allow me to invite two testimonials to come, one from Madare Market called Kevin Udunyi, and later on, Rachel Wanini from Gekomba. Kevin, to give his testimony. Uh, I am a farmer from Madare, where we do dairy goat keeping, uh, and we sell milk and dairy goat breeding services. So I was enrolled in YBizna, which is an initiative which was funded by Kenya Bankers Association, partnership with KCDF, which with me, uh, we have a total of 300 young people who are engaged. We were trained and fully capacitated with business management skills for us to start the business so that we could avoid the political, after political incidences where we usually have political violence. So we were enrolled and fully capacitated, and we have enrolled in, in our businesses, which is still ongoing, and we, it is a plan. Wow, Nika wauliza, naweza pata loan adi. Wakaniambia, kama niko na permit, nika wambia niko nayo. KRA pin, niko nayo. Simu, niko nayo. Wakan Wakaniambia wataweka up ya stawi. Kwa dakika mbili tatu nilipewa loan ya 30,000. Mweshimiwa rais ime nibadirisha maisha yangu. Nilikuwa nikiuza na nuven ya kutembeza kila duka kwa duka. 2018 ndiyo nilianza kutembeza. Na wakati nilipata loan, sai niko na bills zenye natembeza, nikisema, stawi mungu wa ibariki. Your Excellency, this is just... 
I was that small enterprise that started my own business, and who would have known that I would have ended up here speaking to you today? And so, uh, so I, I know, I know the power of investment in something small. That small investment can become something huge, and they can make a make a nation great. On behalf of uh, the international donors, it is wonderful to see the government of Kenya and the Central Bank of Kenya working closely with private banks to offer small and medium-sized businesses uh, an easy way to access, access affordable credit. As you know, I'm a firm believer in the private sector. Uh, one of the best things government can do at times is just get out of the way and allow the private sector to lead. I told a story a couple days ago about when I was a, I was a salesman in the manufacturing business and I went to a, a, a business in Texarkana, Arkansas, and I was walking through the factory of Mr. Calvin Court. And Mr. Court was a, a wonderful man. I was there to sell him a very expensive piece of equipment. And that's how I made my living. And uh, as we were walking through the factory, we were walking down the aisle and behind Mr. Court, or right beside him, and one of the employees that was shipping the product said, excuse me, Mr. Court, but you're in my way. He said, if you will step aside, I can deliver the product that you asked me to this week and we can both make a lot of money. <laughs> Sometimes it's best for just to step aside and let those with that energy that we've asked to produce, to produce. So this is, a, this is a great example of the Kenyan government allowing the private sector to provide a practical solution to a pressing problem. Building on Kenyan private sector strengths, designing smart and secure mobile money software and innovative finance options, the launch of Stawi comes at an auspicious time. In another positive development that should expand SMEs access to credit, I understand that yesterday the interest cap on lending expired. This is good news. The United States and other donor partners remain committed to helping Kenya SMEs thrive. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your warm words at the United States Kenya uh, Kenyan American Chamber of Commerce Business Summit this week. Your presence sent a strong, supportive message that the United States Kenya relations remain very strong. <laughs> the Business Summit is a best practice to bring foreign direct investment into Kenya. Summits such as ours and others from the international donors bring companies to do business transparently and ethically to compete for Kenyan customers and partners. Another best practice for transparency is the fruitful discussions at the United States Kenya Trade and Investment Working Group meeting last week. Thank you, C.S. Munya. Thank you and the many other Kenyan government officials who participated. As a result of these direct engagements, the United States government initiatives are focused on making it easier for the private sector, especially SMEs, to compete openly for the benefit of the Kenyan people. For example, United, the U.S. Export-Import Bank is prepared to support up to $400 million in additional financing for worthy Kenyan projects. The United States government through USAID has been very active in helping SMEs. Our new Prosper Africa program brings the Small Business Administration to the table. Our Prosper Counties initiative will help Kenya's governors make SMEs even more competitive so they can create more jobs for Kenyans, especially the youth of Kenya, who are ready and willing to work. You see, that's, we, we, these youth have, are, are, are prepared to invest. And all we need is to give them a little opportunity. And we will, we will see that they will be the ones that energize the economy of the future of Kenya. 
Through AGOA and other trade programs, we're helping these, these counties become more competitive in attracting investment, financing, manufacturing, and exporting beyond the $450 million in Kenya's annual AGOA exports. And that supports 200,000 Kenyan jobs. Thank you again for allowing me, that was once a small enterprise, to speak to you today. Thank you. It is my pleasure to thank the President for finding time to be in this very important forum that is focusing on providing a very innovative solution to access to credit for small businesses. The SME sector, Your Excellency, is a key sector in our economy, providing almost close to 80% of our jobs. And if we are to look at Kenya as a pyramid, the base of our economy is the SME sector. And I know every time we have a discussion in government, on any policy, you always ask, what about the SMEs? What are you doing to make sure that the SME sector is, is thriving? And indeed, access to credit, you have been at the forefront in asking us to look for solutions to make it easy for SMEs to access credit. And this is a game changer in terms of simplifying access and expanding the space for access to credit for SMEs. I am grateful to Your Excellency for gracing this occasion, but more importantly for consistently challenging the banking industry on financing MSMEs. Let me also commend all the banks, the Kenya Bankers Association, and the various government agencies for putting together today's event. MSMEs are the backbone of Kenya's economy, contributing about 28% of uh, our GDP. The approximately 7 million MSMEs are concentrated in manufacturing, wholesale and trade, um, transport and storage sectors. And the resilience of the MSMEs are indeed have indeed been a key strength of Kenya's economic growth. Earlier this year, the central bank made a deliberate effort to go where the action is, and we met vibrant traders in Gikomba, mechanics in Karyoko, traders in Kondele Market, creative furniture traders um, on Gong Road, etc. All of them need finance that is convenient, accessible, and preserves their dignity as they may not fit in the conventional brick and mortar um, bank model. In short, they need anytime, anywhere financial services. They are aligned to the nature, that is aligned to the nature of the enterprises. Following this tour, CBK used its convenient power to bring banks to the table to provide a solution for MSMEs. I was pleased to see a consortium of five banks stepping up to the plate when we did the soft launch in May 2019. It is gratifying to note that many more banks have joined the initiative. Stawi rides on technology and innovation, <clears throat> and it provides a cost-effective, anytime, anywhere, credit product that is tailored to the needs of the MSMEs. Most importantly, it aims at not just providing finance, but also supporting them to enhance their credit worthiness, business skills, and ultimately grow their businesses. The testimonies we've had today confirm the realization of this vision. Over the last few years, Kenyans have expressed concern on what they perceive as the alienation of banks from meeting their needs. Today's event and launch is proof that banks have heard the cry of Kenyans. Over the last three years, <clears throat> banks have revealed their business models to put the customer at the center. MSMEs have not been left behind. Today is really just the beginning for banks in scaling up support for MSMEs. A lot more remains to be done, not just through finance, but also through capacity building, enabling access to markets, promoting innovation, and most importantly, through creating an enabling business environment. By effectively serving the SMEs, 
banks will truly be working for and with Kenyans. With the advances in technology and innovations, this is the vision that the banking sector must achieve. Your Excellency, at this point, I would like to invite the Ambassador of the United States um, who will say a few words on behalf of our development partners. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, development partners, friends, ladies and gentlemen, begin by saying that I'm delighted to join you today for the launch of the Stawi Credit Facility. This launch today marks what I believe is an important milestone in my administration's effort to remove the constraints to the growth of micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises here in Kenya. I really do want to take this opportunity also to thank the Kenya Bankers Association, the Ministry of Industry, Trade, and Cooperatives, and our Kenya Central Bank for organizing this event, which is showcasing several financing innovations that banks have developed to respond to the need of micro, small, and medium enterprises. The micro, small, and medium enterprises are without doubt the lifeblood of our economy. This sector accounts for more than 80% of all businesses in Kenya and creates around 75% of all our jobs. Equally important, because of their broad reach in providing employment, especially for vulnerable groups, for women, for our youth. Micro, small, and medium enterprises are key contributors to a very broad-based and inclusive economic development model. But as we all know, micro, and small, micro, small, and medium enterprises also face several challenges, which ultimately reduce their competitiveness and constrain their growth. About 85% of more than 7 million micro, small, and medium enterprises are ultimately unlicensed. And about 90% of our startups do not survive more than three years. Indeed, as a result, their contribution to our country's GDP is only about 30%. It is worth pointing that if we were to realize the full potential of this sector, its contribution to the national cake, as well as to national employment, would be much more. Recognizing the potential of this sector to transform the lives of many Kenyans, we have made a deliberate decision to prioritize the development of micro, small, and medium enterprises as part of our Big Four agenda. The focus on agriculture, housing, manufacturing being key. For example, the leather common market manufacturing facility at Karyoko, now complete, is a good example. This facility will accord leather manufacturers the opportunity to standardize their products, but also similarly in the housing sector, my administration has partnered with the small business enterprises in the construction industry to provide doors and windows for the affordable housing program. Ladies and gentlemen, evidence abounds that one of the challenges that has seriously constrained the growth of this sector is its inability to access credit at affordable terms. This 
from the formal banking institutions. As a country, we have struggled for many years trying to convince our banks that this is a sector with great business potential which can be exploited for the mutual benefit of all of us. Today, therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I am a happy man knowing that our efforts have not been in vain. I therefore cannot hesitate to applaud those banks that have responded to our call and are developing the various innovative financing solutions, some of which are being showcased here today. Working together, I am confident that we are going to restart this powerful engine of our economy. The small business enterprises have been locked out of the formal credit market because of the informal nature of their records and lack of collateral securities. So it is gratifying that the financial product, the STAWI, that we are launching today is designed to address these shortcomings. Indeed, as we have been informed, our small to mid-sized enterprises will now be able to access unsecured credit faster and, more importantly, Mimi nashukuru sana, nimefurahi sana kuwa hapa siku ya leo. Na niseme Kenya hii haitajengwa na mtu mmoja. Inatuhitaji sisi wote. Na niseme pia ya kwamba kujenga ni ngumu. Kubomoa <laughs> ni dakika. <laughs> Kujenga ni ngumu, kubomoa ni dakika. Mimi nataka kukubaliana na yale ambaye tumelewa hapa na huyu balozi wa Amerika ambaye mesema hapa. Ya kwamba saingine, tunapika kelele zaidi badala ya kutafuta suluisho. Tunelewana. Kwa sababu unajua wasee mukiketi, suluisho inapatikana. Lakini tukitupiana maneno, tukitupiana mawe, we utarudi kwa konja na muenza kwa atarudi kwa kenja. Hii program tulianza kwa kusema ya kwamba. Wafanyikazi wetu wadogo lazima waweze kupata huduma tofauti tofauti mpaka pia waweze kupata mikopo kwa bei nafu. Sisi ya tukutupiana maneno, tukulikana na wao. Na tukawambia jameni, uchumi wetu, kama Kenya, wategemea wafanyi, wafanyi biashara wetu wadogo. Hawa ndiyo msingi wa uchumi ya Kenya. Hawa ndiyo wanaandika vijana wetu wengi Ata kuliko zile kampuni kubwa kubwa. Jameni. Hatuwezi kuendelea na maisha kama nyinyi hamuoni umuhimu wa hii sekta kwa taifa letu la Kenya. Na tukaanza majadiliano. Na nataka kushukuru zile benki ambazo ziliona kweli kuna shida na wakasema yes inastahili tukae tusitupiane maneno tukae what is the solution hii ni product moja mimi naendelea kuahimiza tumesema ya kwamba tuko na zaidi ya biashara milioni saba. ndogo ndogo Jameni tufikie kila moja wao. Tuhakikishe ya kwamba amepata mkopo ambayo unaweza kukuza biashara yake na kuongeza idadi ya vijana ambaye ameandika kwa sababu nyinyi mmewasaidia. Huwezi Huwezi kusema hata chukua mkopo kwa sababu ni high risk. 
ni waulize mkiwaita high risk wewe mwenye benki <laughs> ukisema huwezi kukopesha huyu kwa sababu ni high risk biashara hiyo yake ikivilisika vijana wale ambaye ameandika wakifilisika je wewe ambao umekaa kwa ofisi yako kubwa katika 24th floor <laughs> maisha yako jamani itakuwa namna gani utakuwa unarudi nyumbani kwa nani utakuwa unapitia wapi eh utakuwa unapitia wapi let us become realistic in how we do our things when you say high risk what is high risk it is easier it is better for you to find mechanisms and ways to lend to those young men and women who are interested in making something positive of their lives who are interested in employing their fellow young men and women because if they are positively engaged if they become part of our economic prosperity prosperity even your business is secure but if you <laughs> If you friends continue with the language high risk high risk huko hatuendi ngoja ngoja ile siku <laughs> mambo itaharibika utaona utakuwa unatafuta ndege ya kuhepa na una pahali ya kuenda eh so my friends we live in this country together we must support one another the growth of the small businessman is also the growth of the big one we must support each other in order for us to be able to achieve this goal. So really, it shouldn't be us begging you. This is just simple economics. It's simple common sense. Yes, that if the small business is growing, even yours will grow. But if you want to sit in your ivory tower and pretend, timimi na gojea government bond ikuje niweke pesa hapo, alafu niende ni kalale, ni cheze golf, hiyo kiwanja ya golf utaenda huko uone watu wanakunywa maji huko wanalisha ngombe zao na utafanya ile utafanya sijui ni nini kwa sababu wewe ndiyo ulikosa kusaidia huyo kijana aende kupata kazi au ni namna gani si tutembee pamoja tujenge Kenya pamoja Mungu awabariki na walinde asanteni sana at affordable interest rates. A key innovation in this product is that it will use customer transactions to generate reliable data to, access, to assess the creditworthiness of these enterprises. This will enable many more banks to lend to them. Starwe will also offer a longer repayment period to small business borrowers thus making it easier for them to better manage their cash flows and therefore grow their businesses to the next level. I am also pleased to note that Starry services will be provided online, thereby making transactions cheaper as well as faster. And I encourage our micro, small and medium enterprises to take advantage of this financial product and the many other products that have been showcased today to grow your businesses. Let me at this juncture take this opportunity to both thank, but also welcome our development partners and to ask them to walk with us in this promising journey, to partner with us to find innovative solutions to grow our micro, small, and medium enterprises. Several of, our, several of our partners, some of whom are with us today, have for many years provided financing capacity, financing, capacity building, support, and lessons of experience to this sector. We seek together to scale up these efforts to even higher levels, and we remain hopeful that you as our partners will respond to our call. As I close my remarks, it is important that we appreciate that access to and cost of credit are not the only challenges the small business enterprises have been facing. 
Given its diversity, the sector faces a range of issues that require effective policies to deal, to deal with so that we can fully unlock their potential. Our current MSC policy framework, which is covered under sessional paper number two of 2005 on the development of micro and small enterprises, I believe is somewhat outdated. A lot of issues have emerged that necessitate its review, especially to align it with our Big Four agenda. And it is for this reason that I have directed the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Cooperatives to hasten the review that is the undertaking of this policy and have its report on the new proposed policy ready for approval by Cabinet in March of next year. I am affording you, Waziri Munya, that time in order for you to be able to consult widely and to ensure that inputs from all relevant stakeholders are taken into account in accordance with our Constitution. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the responsibilities of my administration is to ensure that we provide business development services to the micro, small, and medium enterprises. And it is in this regard that the government is in the process of establishing Biashara centers across the country, which will provide services to our micro and small medium enterprises under one roof, a huduma type of one-stop shop. <laughs> Indeed, as has been noted earlier, the first Biashara Center was launched a week ago at Kariobangi in Nairobi and is fully functional, providing services related to taxes, standards, technology, as well as finance. The main purpose of the centers is to make it easier for the small businesses to access services provided by various government agencies. So I urge both the Cabinet Secretary and the Ministry of Trade and Cooperatives, as well as the Cabinet Secretary for Youth, Gender, and Public Service, to fast track the establishment of more Biashara centers in the micro, small, and medium enterprises where these enterprises are clustered in all our major towns and indeed even in our small towns across the country. In the same vein, I also ask the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Cooperatives to fast track the relaunching of the constituency industrial development centers across the country. These centers will serve as common manufacturing facilities or work sites for the micro, small and medium enterprises. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to conclude by applauding the Kenya Bankers Association for your stated commitment to moderate loan pricing going forward. I believe that this is an important first step towards self-regulation. Let me also thank the banks and the Central Bank of Kenya for remaining true to the call to develop innovative financial products better aligned with the needs of the small business enterprises. The Stawi Banking product is a testimony, I believe, to your commitment to support this important sector and, need, and indeed our overall development agenda as a nation. I remain hopeful that this is only the beginning and that many, many more such products will be coming up as you continue to show that you are responsible banks and you care about the welfare of your fellow Kenyans. Towards making Kenya the preferred destination of choice for investment, 
my administration has steadily improved the trade and investment environment. For example, the, micro, the macroeconomic fundamentals have remained broadly strong, and indeed during the last five years, our economy grew by an average rate of approximately 5%. And I'm proud to state that as a country, we have made steady progress in improving the business environment. And indeed, it is only last week when the World Bank released their 2019 report on the ease of doing business, ranking Kenya in position number 56 as compared to position number 136 only in 2014. So we've made some good progress in that direction. The improvement in the World Bank ease of doing business reflects deliberate actions that we have taken to improve Kenya's business environment. And to mention just but a few, in, in appreciation of the value of security, in promoting development, we have made significant strides in improving security, and we also thank the US government here for being a true partner in this endeavor. We have also made significant investments in infrastructure, which has, in a significant way, reduced the cost of doing business.